Ladies and gentlemen, here we go again. On the verge of yet another election or two. And whether you think it is too soon or not is not the issue because here we are. But before we hurtle down the slope towards a referendum and eventually a general election in 2022, I think there's a big elephant roaming around the room. The question of who will conduct these huge electoral exercises. I'm talking about that all-important elections management body, the IEBC, or whatever is left of it. In the heat of the 2017 election fallout and the subsequent handshake, we seem to have swept the many issues bedeviling this body under the rug. The damning indictment from the Supreme Court and all other not-so-flattering reviews given by many other players were somewhat placed on the back burner. But now it is clear we can no longer kick the can down the road. Anyone remember ODM's irreducible minimums to the Commission before the repeat elections of 2017? They touched on a range of issues, from administrative to those of procurement, to the manner of transmission of the results, all the way to raising some very serious allegations against particular staff at the Commission, some of whom still work there. And then there is the fact that not one, but four commissioners have since resigned, many of whom have also raised issue with the leadership of that commission. Or the fact that they have yet to be replaced more than two years later, even though some have since been rewarded with diplomatic postings. The legitimacy of the commission due to the issue of quorum having been solved by a court ruling. The fact that there is no CEO and the recruitment exercise remains in abeyance due to a matter in court. I wonder if the hostility between the commissioners and the secretariat as a whole were ever fully resolved. Let's not forget the matter of how they conducted the last major election. Were those issues ever resolved? Allow me to refresh your memory. A report in Parliament on the commission was quoted as saying, I quote, Prudent management of public resources by the IEBC had been sacrificed at the altar of self-aggrandizement. Speculators and wheeler dealers had a field day as internal controls, where they existed, failed or were made to fail spectacularly. It went on to say that the costs were highly inflated and that the actual amount of public money that was lost from the, quote, manipulation of procurement and processes and creative accounting may never be fully ascertained. In fact, IEBC's own internal audit revealed that money could have been lost through procurement of materials for both the August and October 2017 elections. The Supreme Court verdict itself accused the IEBC of failing to follow the law and being duplicitous. Now, I recognize that there are some specific recommendations in the BBI report that attempt to deal with some of these questions. But these appear to be targeting the 2022 general election. But what about the referendum itself? Will the country go for a referendum with a clearly flawed commission? But a more fundamental issue is what now seems to be our national electoral pastime. That every time we do an election, almost like clockwork, the Electoral Commission is emptied out on allegations of all kinds of mischief. Isn't it time we wondered why we have had a whole seven commissions since the return of multi-party politics? How is it that each time we clean up the commission, the new officials end up emerging on the other side as rotten eggs? Are the commissioners who keep coming in the real problem, or is it the commission itself? Perhaps this could be a good moment to finally exorcise the ominous ghost that seems to lurk permanently in the hallowed halls of the anniversary towers. For as we know, what they say, that it is not the votes that count, but those who count the votes that count. And that is my take tonight.